this is how you can create an aesthetic flying polaroid animation in DaVinci Resolve. Drag a fusion composition onto the timeline and open it in fusion. First, you'll need an image that you want to use as the polaroid photo. Ideally, your image should already have a square aspect ratio, but if it doesn't, that's totally fine. We will adjust it to a square format later. First, add a background node and connect it to the merge node through the yellow input. In the inspector, go to the image tab, disable auto resolution and type in 1080 for both width and height. Now connect your image to the green input of the merge and insert a transform node. Next, add a matte control and connect the merge to the yellow input. Copy and paste the background node and connect it to the grey input of the matte control. Under garbage matte, make sure to click invert. Now copy and paste that background again, add another merge and connect everything like this. Go to the image settings of the new background and this time increase the height and width so it takes on that classic polaroid shape. In the merge, increase the Y value so the image sits towards the top instead of the center. You can now fine tune the size and position using the transform node. The image will always stay neatly inside the square frame. Now change the color of the background to white. Now we have our 2D Polaroid. To turn it into 3D, add an image plane, merge 3D, bender 3D, transform 3D, another merge 3D and finally a render 3D node. In the render 3D node, change the render type to hardware renderer and set the high queue rate under anti-aliasing to 1 for better performance. In the transform 3D node, we will animate the motion of the Polaroid. However, if you start rotating it, you'll notice the image is visible on both sides. We don't want that. To fix it, copy the background, paste an instant and add another image plane. Change the Z value to minus 0.001 and connect it to the merge. Now you will see the photo only on one side, which looks much more realistic. Next, let's add some lighting and reflection to the Polaroid. In the Render 3D node, enable lighting and shadows. Then search for ambient light and directional light. Connect both to the second Merge 3D and adjust the rotation of the directional light to minus 30 and 50. You can now tweak the intensity of both light sources. For stronger reflections, increase the directional light and lower the ambient light. I personally like using around 0.1 for directional light and 0.9 for ambient light to get a soft and balanced look. To make the motion more realistic, we will add a bending animation in the Bender 3D node. If you adjust the amount slider, you will see the Polaroid bending in 3D space. We will animate this using an oscillation expression over time. To do that, right click and choose edit controls. Create a new slider control called bending strength and for more precision, set this to 0.1. Click OK, then repeat the process to add another slider control called bending speed. You should now see both controls in your user panel. Right click the amount slider, choose expression and type in the expression I show on screen. Now, when you adjust the bending strength and speed sliders, your Polaroid will bend back and forth automatically. You can easily now control the speed and intensity of the movement. After the Render 3D node, add a Drop Shadow node and adjust the settings to your liking. To animate everything, simply keyframe the translation and rotation parameters and adjust the scale and the Transform 3D node. That's the manual way to build the animation. But if you want to save some time, I've created a preset you can get on my Payhip. It's super easy to use, just drag the effect from your effects library onto any image. In the inspector, you can correct the size and center if it's slightly off. Under position, you will find all the animation controls for translation and rotation. Just choose your start and end values for each parameter. Experiment with the numbers. It's super quick and easy to create unique flying Polaroid motions. As explained earlier, you can also animate the bending with the dedicated sliders. 
and easily adjust lighting and shadows for extra realism. So check it out if you want to speed up your workflow. I hope this video was helpful and that you learned something new about Fusion. Also make sure to join my editing discord server. Like and subscribe for more tutorials and I'll see you in the next video.